welcome to tonight's Big Brother 12 recap. Well, last time we left the hamsters, they were in the middle of the HOH competition. Yeah, because it was an endurance comp. Andrew had the freaking pastiest legs in tidy shorts that I've Who ever wears seen. short shorts? Andrew does. Da, 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 da. Okay. <laughs> All right, so Kathy was the first one off right after she said, I've been sucking in the competitions. Now I'm, I'm really going to show hang them. In there. Yeah. yeah. No. Okay, Lane was second. He was a close second, too. He didn't want to go out before Kathy because he never would have lived it down, so yeah. he's safe. Kristen lost her balance, or did, or did she? she? No. Um, and then Hayden. Wow, he fell off, too. Oh, God, that's a stretch. All right, then Brittany threw it as well because, come on, she doesn't want to eat slop. She's already Two been punished in enough. No. Exactly. Everyone else left at this point is going to be a have-not. Except for the winning HOH. Exactly. So, Matt is 100% confident that he can go to the end. He was up there. He was banging drums on the wall. He was chatting it up. Did you notice, though, that Matt's slot was the only slot that wasn't getting, like, blasted on the head with, and I think with he the was water. just standing behind it. I don't think so, because other people were flat up against the wall, like Reagan, and they were getting, like, blasted he by the water. too, though. Not on his head. That it's was different. soaked, too. All right. Well, Enzo let down New Jersey, because he was the next one off. Yeah. That was embarrassing for New Jersey, I'm sure. Or Jersey, as yeah. everybody says. Nobody ever says New Jersey anymore. It's Jersey. It's the only state that does that. And then just as Brendan was about to fall, Rachel's like, Brendan, don't fall! Too late. Ha <laughs> ha Why was he standing sideways? That was so stupid. Uh, Reagan, he tells Andrew that he is totally safe. And Andrew's like, hey, everyone, you heard that, right? You heard that. That was really awkward, though, because at that point, Matt was still left, too. So it was kind of like, hey, aren't you going to tell me I'm safe? And Matt's like, no, I'm not saying anything now. So forget it, Andrew. And Andrew's took us, got pushed off. It made him fall with yeah. his tidy shorts. I really thought he was going to hurt himself because he kind of fell, like, stiff-legged. It yeah. was, like, really Bend weird. Knees, Andrew. Exactly. You want an injury. <laughs> All right, Matt and Reagan. Reagan asked for privacy. Privacy, please. Do you do you think it's possible if you guys could go inside and and make sure you close the door too? <laughs> Nobody ever gets privacy. You're not sp you're in the Big Brother house. There's no privacy. No, I've seen them do that before. That's stupid. That's stupid. So Reagan basically says, dude, I trust you, which is so stupid because he should not. And he just wants to throw the HOH to him so that he can see pictures of his wife because, as we all know, she's not sick. <laughs> but everyone thinks she is, or so they say. Yeah. And uh, Matt the Douche is like, well, I could have stayed here all night with my googly eyes and, <laughs> and my big giant uh, panda teeth. And he does have panda That's teeth. That's not what panda teeth are. Oh, okay. <laughs> Beaver teeth. All right. So, yeah, he could have stayed there, but I'll let you throw it to me. Reagan's but all like, yeah, I'm going to wait like 10, 15 minutes so it's not obvious. And then Reagan jumps off like 15 minutes into it, but it was even too gay for Reagan. I thought he was supposed to know how to act. He does not. He is awful at it. No wonder why some people on uh, the teacher's website were like... Rate my professor. Yeah. He doesn't know what he's doing. <laughs> All right. So Rachel's worried at this point, as she should be, because she's worried she's going to go up as revenge because she put Matt up and then had that whole big house meeting on him and everything. Yep. So she talks with Matt and she's still worried that she's going to go up because he's like, all right, I got 20 seconds for you. Well, it's time for some comic relief from Enzo and Brittany. Enzo is from Jersey, in case you hadn't noticed. And he's totally like a soprano. Yeah, but Brittany was like, he's a Jersey soprano. <laughs> She's Beverly Hillbilly, as he says. And she thought she was all like, my fair lady, and like, I'm going to teach him how to speak. The rain and plane, and the plane stays mainly on, I don't know. I mean, the rain in Spain. In Spain. <laughs> all right, so yeah. She, Let's just say n neither of them know what they're doing. No. And, you know, it's the, I must have heard this a million times. Car, car, <laughs> saw, 
So <laughs> you're not doing it I right because you talk like him. I know. I can't help it. Okay. So let's talk about Matt's HOH room. <sighs> Boring. He had some pictures, some dumb food, a letter. He read it out loud. I thought he was going to add some stuff to it, but... He couldn't do that, because what if people read it later? Oh, I don't know. But then by the luck of the draw, his wife said that she was feeling better lately, which had, like, no... I guess they hadn't planned this in advance. And it made everybody kind of believe his story a little bit more because yeah. of the coinkadink. Even Andrew, he was like, I feel so bad for doubting him. Oh, Andrew, you fool. So it's time for the brigade meeting, everyone. Ah. Matt has high hopes for the HOH. Yes. Which is pretty stupid because he's pretty much going to blow it. <laughs> the brigade said, wisely, put up Brendan and Rachel. They are the biggest targets in the house. You know, they're the yeah, biggest threats in the house. because of what happened last week, you can totally do it and get away with it. Exactly. But, for some reason, he's picking on little Kathy. He's got this personal thing against Kathy because she voted for him to go last week. <sighs> Ridiculous. Kathy was friends with Monet. Give me a actual effing break. Alright, so Hayden and Kristen, let me just say, Ew. I hate the way they're sneaking around, and this last little clip that they showed just made me throw up in my mouth a little bit. So Lane, he's a freaking genius, because he thinks that Hayden and Kristen are related. Yes. They look alike. They have, they have the same birthmark. Exactly. Since and when does that make people related? I know. And he's not doing her, so they have to be related, because he should be nailing her if they're not related. So... Andrew likes to vacuum. He does. And it kind of interrupts people. <laughs> Namely, Brendan and Rachel. And Ugh. he's always walking in on them. And they finally just said, screw it, we're just going to keep doing it. I like, you weren't going to do that think anyway. That, like, they deserve, like, all this privacy and stuff. Mm -hmm. uh, other people live there. I know. It's assaulting their eyes and sensibilities. Yeah. All right, so Brittany and Lane. They make up a little soap opera for Rachel and Brendan. This was priceless. This yes. was my favorite part of the whole episode. Mine too. Lane, I do this too, but I usually don't do it with horses and cows like you do. <laughs> Lane what? has come up with some great quotes this season. They are gems. They are gems. Lane, freaking hilarious, doesn't even know it. Doesn't even know it. Unintentional humor. All right, it's time to reveal the have-not treat for the week. And it is bok choy and baby food. This was another favorite moment. Yes. Because Enzo was like, it looks like someone threw up in plates. <laughs> it did. It really yeah. it looked like when you're sick and your mom brings you a bucket. No! Okay, but on Andrew. Sofa and you throw up in it. Really appreciated that the baby food was kosher. Because the slop Boy. isn't. Exactly. Um, and he will eat all of the stages, whether he is a crawler or a toddler or whatever. <laughs> a crawler? Yeah. I guess that's below a toddler. I guess that, yeah, because that crawler is probably like under a year old. So it's like baby food stages. All right, so Matt, Rachel, and Brendan have a little meeting up in the HOH room, and he says he's not putting them up. Why, why, why? Because he's stupid. He thinks that he's going to get a better deal by not putting them up. They are going to turn around and stab you in the back, dummy. Yeah. All right, so then he calls up Matt to the, uh, he calls up Andrew to the HOH room and says, dude, you're the pawn. I'm 99.9% sure that you're not going home because you're a little court jester and everyone loves you and you're I actually really enjoyed Andrew's moments in this week's episode. I did as well. Well, in tonight's episode. Right. So... He's going to be the pawn, though, and Andrew's a little eh, eh, eh yeah. about the He's whole situation. Nervous. Who wouldn't be? Nobody wants to be the pawn. Usually, the pawn goes home. All right, well, nominations. Andrew I nominate you, Andrew, because you are gunning for me. And Kathy, you voted for me, and you suck on top of it. You suck at competitions. That's a reason to keep someone. All right, so Matt thinks he's sitting pretty. But he's totally not. He's dumb. <laughs> and it, Good one. Yeah. No, I mean, this was just a total farce. Just he wasted move. it. He wasted it. All no, right. but I also feel like maybe he knows exactly what he's doing. 
He wanted this to happen. I guess so, but it's pretty stupid if you ask me. I believe it is as well. All right. So Wednesday, it's going to be the POV competition, and are they, is he going to use it, whoever wins it, or not? We'll have to wait and find out. But if you want to watch the spoilers, we'll tell you. She will anyway. So to Wednesday, much love.